I guys, I really, I really have to apologize for all this mess here in the off-grid garage. I am still in the middle of renovating, as you know. So the whole garage looks like after a plane crash. Guys, thank you so much for 89,764. That is totally amazing. It is not quite the correct number, but I have only one eight. Yes, someone suggested this in the comments, Andy, why don't you print your own numbers? So I did. And I bought these little magnets from eBay to put on so they can stick to my metal door. Guys, and welcome back to the off grid garage here in sunny hot Australia. It is beautiful, cloudy, rainy weather. No, I mean it, it's, it's really good, it's really good. I'm on 30, 33% and we have got 43 amps outside. Look at this, huh? in these cloudy conditions. In winter time, I love these clouds. Guys, in today's video, as you can see, I've got the BOOM t-shirt on. Big shout out to Average Joe. Because as mentioned in the last video, I've got news about the JKBMS, more specifically about the app. Where's this white fluffy stuff coming from here? <laughs> Guys, as you may remember, a couple of weeks, a couple of months ago, I made a video about the JKBMS and how to force update it. And one of our community members, Miro, was so kind to develop how to generate this code for the JKBMS to force update it. So with this code, we don't need to contact JKBMS anymore and wait for their reply to give us a code, which is only valid for one hour anyway. So we can downgrade or force update our JK inverter BMSs. And he was so kind to publish this code on his GitHub website. Now in today's video, we're going a step further. If you sometimes go below my videos, there are lots of people actually asking how to reset the password of the app because they are as old as I am and they forget. And until now, there was actually no way to reset your app password, your BMS password you have set. See, when you connect for the first time, it's only one, two, three, four, five, six. But then the BMS constantly nags you to change it. And then you quickly change it to something because you want to continue working with the BMS, changing all the parameters and settings and everything. And after only seven days, you have forgotten about this important password. And there's no way to retrieve this password anymore. Unless you've got the Peter boards because they show the password in clear text on the internal website as well as in Home Assistant. Um, but now a community member with the name of RGR-1 has developed the algorithm on how to overcome this forgotten password for the JKBMS and app. And our good old friend Miro was so kind to put this generator as well on his GitHub website together with the force update generator he already published a couple of months ago. Guys, and I'm so glad I've got two JKBMSs here where I have forgotten the password for, because I'm old. So, okay, 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 here's how it works. So you go into your JK app, you select the BMS you have forgotten the password for. Obviously you can still read all the data, all the information, even all the parameters and settings are available, but you cannot change anything anymore because you have forgotten the password. It is usually one, two, three, four, five, six, verify, it says, Permission of settings failure. So that was the wrong password. And so far there was no way to retrieve this password in any form. So what you have to do is you click on these three dots here at the top right hand corner of the app. You go to about and you have to write down your serial number of this BMS. 11. Yeah, okay. This is what I have already on a piece of paper here. Then you go to the off -cut Garage website. I link this all down below, of course and you scroll down until you see all these videos. Here you can see Miro's JKBMS code generator to use with force updating button, right? So you click on this link, it brings you to Miro's website for the JK force update code generator. And if you scroll a bit further down, there is now also a JKBMS app settings code. And here you just need to enter the serial number, which we have just seen on the screen. Three zero nine two five six nine five one one and voila it generates a code for you so this is your new settings password now two seven zero four four three double zero double f 
And there's also a copy to clipboard button next to it. Very handy. Thank you, Miro. We click on that. It copies this code. We go back into our JKBMS, click on verify password and paste this code, which we have just generated into the field. Click on verify. It doesn't work. Amazing. <laughs> of course it doesn't work because I have a typo in here. It's not 308, it's 309. 2569511. Okay. So it generates a different code, of course, now. So we copy this one. Okay. Go back into our JKBMS. Click on this code. Paste it in there. Click on verify. And we are in. So now we can change every setting again. Bang. Works. You can generate this new password out of your serial number of your BMS. I have tested with the 100M, with the 200M inverter BMS, and also with the first generation JK BMS here in the battery shelf. So if you want to ever change the settings in your BMS again, you need this new password, which you have just generated on Miro's website. This is the new password now forever, because unfortunately you are not able to change that. If you go back into the list, click on this pencil, and say modify password, it still wants your old password, which you have forgotten, right? You have forgotten it. So we cannot change this password anymore, unfortunately. So whatever you have generated down here, this is your forever password now, until the day when you wake up in the middle of the night and all of a sudden you remember this strange password you have put in the very first day you installed this JK Inverter BMS. And then of course you're one lucky person because you got the original password back and then you can change it to whatever you like. But until then, you need to remember this new password. So for all these BMSs, the old original password you have set and forgotten about is still valid, but alternatively, you can also use this code generated on Miro's GitHub website. So basically you've got two passwords now. Isn't that, isn't that uh, boom? Yeah, this is pretty good, right? Really pretty good. The power of the community, right? RGR-1 or whatever his name was. And Miro, thank you so much for publishing this and making this available for the community again. We cannot thank you enough for doing all this work for us. Fantastic. As I said, guys, I linked this all down under the video here. Just so if you forget where to find this video, they are all under the JK BMSs. How to update the firmware normally, how to do a force update when you have pricked your BMS, how to use the code generator Miro has published, and now also how to get a temporary password for your JK BMS in case you have forgotten the one you have set up in the app. Fantastic. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all your amazing support. Here's to all these wonderful and beautiful people. They are more beautiful than everyone else who are donating to the channel here or becoming a member. Thank you very much for your support. Well, I should actually say thank you very much for everyone for your amazing support here on the channel. To make um, 89,764 or there's probably two or three people more on the clock now. Welcome to the channel and thank you for your subscription. Just wanted to say prescription, but this is something else, right? <laughs> I really appreciate the time you put into sending me an email, but please don't. I'm really unable to reply to your emails. There's far, far too many, far too many. Yeah, guys, um, I guess um, until the next video, you stay charged, stay safe. Oh, no. Guys, until the next video, when we do something completely different, <laughs> of course we do. Until then, guys, you stay charged, stay safe, and thanks again for watching. See you then. Bye-bye. Boom! Uh, a forgotten password generator for old people. That's exactly what I need. <laughs> Amazing.